Hey Transformers 96 here with another bit of review. This time we have the Star Wars The Black Series FN2187. So yeah, otherwise known as Finn in his Stormtrooper armor basically. So this was a figure that I was looking forward to. Obviously, you knew that they were going to do it just because it should be something that's extremely easy for them to do and they basically don't have to spend any more money on resculpting it. Um, that's what it should have been. However, they actually did go a little bit, uh, or a lot, actually, over and above on this figure, and it's something I absolutely want to talk about some more, and, uh, kind of praise Hasbro for. But before we go into the figure, let's go over the box. Standard packaging, like the artwork a lot of Finn in the Stormtrooper armor. As you can see, they do have him labeled as FN2187 on the, uh, front there. And on the back, standard bio, he's number 17, and he is in the fourth wave of figures. He seems to be a bit uh, harder to track down. If you're having trouble finding the a couple figures in this wave, it will be FN2187 as well as Jingle Fett. Um, the Flame Trooper seems to be extremely easy to find, and then Han seems to be uh, f you know fairly simple to find as well. Um, I, I found these guys at a Toys R Us. They had a million Flame Troopers and three... Um, uh, Han Solo's, not a single Jango Fett or f uh, FN2187. I did actually kind of look up and found a box um, uh, of, um, of, uh, sorry, an unopened box of Black Series figures, um, uh, you know, kind of in, I don't know what you'd call it, but it was kind of on a shelf with, you know, something covering the shelf, but I always kind of flip them up just to, just to see if I get lucky to find a case, and there was actually a case there, so I was able to rip it open and, uh, take these two figures out, or, or take FN2187 and Jango Fed out, so I was able to get them. Um, so, you might have a little bit of trouble to find them, but, uh, I would imagine that as they get released more frequently, they should be easier to come by. So let's go over the actual figure. This is uh, really n extremely interesting how they did this figure. I have to say, I'm going to be doing a lot of comparing between this guy and the uh, Finn figure. So, first of all, let me bring out Finn. Um, this should have been extremely easy for Hasbro to do. Basically, all they needed to do was take a Stormtrooper body and then take the head from their Finn figure and just put it on the Stormtrooper and basically the only new sculpting or anything new that they needed to do was sculpt a new helmet that would fit over his head and would have the blood marks on it. Although I wasn't expecting them to do the blood marks, I thought that maybe Hasbro, because uh, obviously they have a child audience, uh, would kind of stray away from doing that. However, they did do that, so I was quite happy about that. But it should this should have been a simple, extremely cheap uh, figure for them to make. However, they didn't cut corners um, whatsoever. They did uh, over and above what I think anybody would have expected them to do and re-sculpted a lot of this guy, which is awesome. Starting off with the head sculpt. Uh, obviously, they, as you can see, they didn't just reuse uh, the fin head sculpt that comes with their fin figure. They did re-sculpt a new one. I think that this new one looks a lot better. Um, the other one, he looks kind of mean in, you know, just the regular fin. I don't know what he's got a very angry expression. This, this other one is a lot better. It's a lot more subdued, and I think that it looks quite nice. Uh, they've re-sculpted the hair. I think it looks great. Also, they darkened his skin tone a bit. Um, the one on the right there is a, is a, a lot of a light lighter shade than the one uh, in the Stormtrooper outfit, so I think that's quite interesting. Not quite sure which one's more accurate. I would assume it's the Stormtrooper one, just because I don't know, it looks accurate, and um, and it is, of course, the more modern uh, one. The only thing that I, uh, the only problems I have with it are really just based, basically mine. He has some white marks on his face. As you can see, there's one on the eyebrow there. He's got a couple on his face there. They're just kind of all over. It is a shame. I'm not quite sure how common this is because I've only seen uh, this this uh, FN2187. I haven't seen any others in stores yet, so I'm not quite sure how common that is, but it is quite annoying. Uh, you know, I'm sure that it could be pretty easily touched up, but, uh, you know, I really shouldn't have to touch up my figures, so I'm not too happy about that, but that is a relatively minor uh, complaint. This new head sculpt looks great. Comparing them now to the regular Stormtrooper, and as you can see, they are quite different. They re-sculpted uh, the torso, and you know, everything is basically the same except that they, they re-sculpted the entire torso, they made it much bigger, much bulkier, um, as you can see, and because of that, it did make him shorter, uh, just because of the bulk that they did use with it, so now he's shorter, and he's bulkier, it is accurate to the movie, if you watch the movie, he does look quite, uh, quite bulky there, he also has basically no neck, I mean, just legitimately no neck when he puts on that helmet, so uh, we'll see if they did that correctly when I put his helmet on. 
on, but uh, this is definitely accurate to the movie. And it's just, it's nice in general to have stormtroopers that look a little different, because if you want to army build these stormtroopers, you can get a couple FN-287s and uh, paint the helmets without the blood, just paint white, paint the uh, the blood marks white, and sla slap it on, and then you have um, some variety in the, in the shapes of your stormtroopers, which is quite accurate and really nice. And of course, this is unnecessary. They could have easily just used the stormtrooper body, and nobody would complain about it, because they wouldn't know it's not screen accurate. It's just, it's something that uh, you just, you wouldn't think of, and you especially wouldn't expect from Hasbro. So, this is something that is really fantastic, and uh, they definitely went over and above with sculpting it. You can slap on his head, as you can see, looking quite nice. It, he probably has a bit more of a neck than he should. I, you know, I wish that this could go on even further, just because he really doesn't have a neck when he wears this helmet. But I think it looks quite nice. The um, blood mark, uh, the blood marks look a little even. Um, it would have been nice if there was a bit more uh, sloppiness in, in in how it's applied to make it look a little bit more natural than this. It looks very machine applied. However, it's still very cool, and I think that it does. Sorry about that, my camera ran out of space, but like I said, it still does look very nice, and I am glad that they went with the actual blood effects, instead of just uh, not doing the blood, because, you know, obviously they are trying to sell to uh, kids, um, but I uh, really do like it a lot. Going over articulation now, it is the same articulation as the uh, the Stormtroopers, however, it's slightly different in the areas that are newly sculpted. For, for instance, the head. The head doesn't have a huge range to it. Let me pop the uh, mask off. There we go. As you can see, he can look up quite far, but with the helmet on, you can you can raise up the helmet to make him look up quite far. I, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. He actually he looks up very far with the helmet on and without it. Um, he doesn't look down too much because of the chin area, unless you kind of raise the head up. Uh, a bit, but he still doesn't look down a whole lot, but he does look down a bit. You've got ball hinge shoulders with hinge swivel elbows. Hinge doesn't move even to a right uh, a 90 degree angle. It is still a bit lacking, which is a shame. He has a hinge swivel at the wrist. He has ball jointed thighs. With the thigh swivel, the pouches do get in the way a bit. He has double hinge kn and knees and then hinge uh, pivoting ankles, which is quite nice. Torso articulation is quite nice as well, but because of how much bulkier it is, you do have slightly less motion than you do with the regular Stormtrooper, however it is just slightly, because you do still have a really nice amount of torso articulation indeed. So very cool, just comparing him, as you can see, he does kind of crouch down when he, when you know, especially when um, uh, Kylo Ren looks at him while they're on Jakku. Uh, he he kind of has this look where he has his like forearms kind of pointed this way, and he's slightly crouching down, looking up, and of course has no neck whatsoever. So you know you can kind of do that, and because of the way that they resculpted the torso, it it looks a lot more screen accurate. And it's just really awesome that they did it. You obviously wouldn't have expected them to do it, and they did it, and. Uh, it looks fantastic. So although we do like to complain about Hasbro, um, you know, making a lot of cost-cutting measures and raising their prices for figures and lowering the quality and taking shortcuts whenever they can, this is a clear scenario of uh, the opposite, where Hasbro could have easily just took their standard Stormtrooper body and slapped a fin head-on from their other fin figure and called it a day re-sculpted nothing and really uh, made a much bigger profit than what they actually did here where they re-sculpted a new fin head for no reason but it is completely welcome because it's a lot better and completely re-sculpt the torso so excellent I, I you know I applaud Hasbro and uh, you know these type of moves um, certainly don't go unnoticed uh, I haven't seen a review of this guy that hasn't mentioned this and hasn't applauded Hasbro for doing that and I just anybody who buys this even even kids, you know, whether they completely recognize it or not, they are still going to realize that it is different than the Stormtrooper that they have uh, 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 before. So uh, this this definitely goes um, noticed, and we all do definitely appreciate this uh, this just extra effort, which really comes across wonderfully in a figure. And I think that this extra effort will make some people who would have just not bought this guy had it just been basically just a slight resculpt. And um, uh, but now we'll buy this because it is a major resculpt. So very happy with what they did with this figure. It's a really excellent figure. I would highly recommend it. And even if you have the stormtrooper and you have the the Finn figure, I would still recommend it because they. Sculpted so much, it does come across very different, and um, 
and that is extremely helpful in a collection, uh, you know, uh, with a lot of diverse figures to get um, some that are definitely quite different and not uh, just repaints or things like that. So there you go. That's my review of the Star Wars The Black Series FN2187. Thanks so much for watching.